Hi, hi, Genki Call here with information on the new troop for Crypt Keepers, which has released today, July 1st, 2022, as well as the new deep delve that's been unlocked in Crypt Keepers. And also want to point out that as of this last Tuesday, the new troop for All Seeing Eye is finally available in portals here, apparently. I saw a screenshot of somebody who had gotten it, so I'm assuming it's actually, yep, it's in there. It's in there! Hooray! I'm just grab. I do not have it maxed out, so I'm just gonna open a couple more here. One more. I guess I was like, ooh, sacred treasure. You don't stop using your chaos portal uh, shards when you're getting um, sacred treasures. Keep going until you start getting bad pulls. Oh, one more. The genie's labs are pretty nice too. All right. There we go, got one more. All right, so let's back out of here. So what we wanna do now is head over here to doo -doo -doo, Crypt Keepers. I already have a video out on teams for Crypt Keepers. Um, and you will not, will not be able to get any of the new troop in your with the portals. Don't bother using your Chaos Shards. The only way to get the new troop is to go into the Faction Assault or Crypt Keepers and get it from the shop. So starting at Tier 3, you will be able to get the Crypt Hound. Now the Crypt Hound, well, let's go over all of the... Well, no, I'll just go ahead and buy... Da -dum -dum, that is wrong. Let me back out of here so I don't accidentally go in the wrong place. Ha ha ha. So, shop. We'll go ahead and buy these so I can just show you all of them at once. King's Crown. Yay. Give me more good things. No, that's not good. All right. So I'm just going to buy up to there for now. I have not maxed out Crypt Keepers yet, but um, let's go over all of the Crypt Keepers um, troops at once here. In my opinion, the Pure Faction team should not change, but that's me. Uh, let's go over them. Hold on just a second here. Need to go to Kingdom Crypt Keepers. Boop. All right, so now there are five. Pure Faction team that I use for level 310 is three of Lady Morana and the Grave Seer. So Lady Morana has a chance to insta-kill based on purple gems, and then the Grave Seer makes sure that you have purple gems in order to get that boost and insta-kill. That's what you're banking on. You're, it's all down to RNG and luck in this particular faction. Now, Nightshade does nothing. He he just does a status effect. And um, Spectral Knight, however, does double damage if the enemy has a status effect. And it is true damage, but still still, as high as the numbers get at level 500, you really are going to need even more than double true damage. The Crypt Hound is a little better than the Nightshade, in my opinion, because at least he's going to drain some mana from an enemy. And he'll either Death Mark, Silence, or Curse all enemies. Now, I would actually consider putting in two Lady Moranas and a Crypt Hound with the Graveseer. I think that would actually be good because he has a chance to death mark. So if you want to really add RNG to it, you could do that. But as far as that goes, it's, it's personal prep. All right. So just remember, you cannot get this with your chaos shards right now. It'll be at least four weeks before you can get this with chaos shards. For now, it is in the shop only. All right. So um, let's do a deep delve. When we did the last deep delve, the very first deep delve ever that was unlocked, I was already at level 500 at All Seeing Eye. So now I can see if I do a deep delve, you start with a times three multiplier instead of times two or times two for this. So you actually have a choice. You can do either one of these levels that you want. This is a way to get a times two multiplier at say, City of Thieves when you're wanting to stay the same level? I mean, it's a possibility. Do you want to spend 10,000 gold and use up two of your daily sigils for it? I don't know. That's up to you. But let's go ahead and do a full deep delve here with a times three multiplier. We're going to use my favorite quick kill team, Shield of Urskaya, Merilith, Tesla, Tesla. 
and I'm using Diabolus for this one because I've almost got it to level 100. I'm really pumped about that. That's part of the reason. The other reason is because um, it starts out with a um, an ice storm, which really helps Tesla. So let's just blow this off. I probably could just cast. Yeah, I'm low enough level I don't have to keep buffing, or I don't even have to buff with um, Shield of Raskaya necessarily. But we're going to do every one of these rooms. Look, the special room. The special gnome room. I forgot this was here. Extreme greed at the start of battle. Hmm. I, this would be so good. Oh my gosh, City of Thieves. City of Thieves! Oh! To have that ability at City of Thieves would make it so that you could actually do the pure faction there a lot more easily. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, that's exciting. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and blow this off. I am going to have to use the Shield of Raskaya here uh, as soon as I can get some mana. Got to watch out for Kruark. He can, um, he can devour um, on skull damage, so don't want to let him get a hold of any skulls while I am not barriered. There we go. There we go. That should... One more. One more. Sorry, I'm adjusting my headset. I hope you can't hear that, but it's hurting my head. It's a lovely headset. It's a nice, high-quality headset. However, um, <laughs> it does hurt my head sometimes. So let's go for the highest multiplier here. I wasn't paying attention when I first started, but the highest multiplier will get us the biggest treasure chest at the end. And hopefully some nice winnings. All right this. Shield of Raskaya. Do this. And start blowing these guys up. Do this. We'll do this. We'll blow off Marilith. And be done with it. Okie dokie. So, let's see who is next. 1.25. 1.4. Oh, wow. <laughs> it has a nice treasure room multiplier, too. Nice. So, my, they only got a soul gnome in here. I would have loved to gotten a curse gnome. It is possible. It's not possible to get a pet gnome, but it is possible to get a cursed gnome. Um, I've only done one of these deep delves prior to this, so this is only my second gnome in here, and I'm not honestly don't remember what I got on my first deep delve, but I'm going to do this to get rid of those skulls and do that. Excellent. Get a little bit more mana and be done with this. Whee! That 1.4 treasure chest multiplier. Very nice. Gotten two of those so far. 5,000 souls. That's the max. Awesome. We're already up to 4.15 on the treasure room multiplier, which is nice. Uh, 1.25, 1.25, and 1.2. So, hmm, yep, we'll just do this. We have an extra room here we don't normally have. That is what happens with deep delves. Uh, 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 let me see. Yeah, I'll take red and I might as well. And then get some more mana, mana, mana. Mana, 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 because we like the mana. Don't die, please. This is much less effective without the Shield of Raskaya, you know. Whee! Possible, but not very fun. Alright. Just three more rooms than the boss room, and we'll see what our winnings are. I'm not even paying attention to how much how much of a buff I'm getting. Oh, I know, it's over 4x uh, four on the um, the multiplier, but actually, all I'm gonna, I don't even have to buff with the Shield of the Sky. I just cast one more time and done. Yeah! Yeah, I haven't been paying attention to the winnings for each room. 1395, yeah. All right. 
Now this one, I mean, there's small potatoes here. If I had done the treasure room, the gnome room, before I did the other 1.4 room, it would have been better. But I wasn't paying attention. It's only my second deep delve. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this. We'll do this. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my bad. My bad. I got full of myself. <laughs> Oops. I think I can still do this. If I fail, I'm going to be very sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad news. I should just head straight for the final room so that I can get that extra multiplier <laughs> from completing the final room. But, but no. Here I go instead. In here where I shouldn't be. We don't get a start for the, um, we don't get a storm starting out because, um, yeah, if I lose my mana generator, oh no, oh no, <gasps> I'ma die, yikes, do not devour me. That would be adding insult to injury. Please do not devour me. So this is the problem with a um, a team that is dependent upon another team member. This kind of thing can happen. Um, it doesn't happen that often, which is nice. But um, yeah, this sure can happen. I, I just need a little mana, please, if you don't mind. Please, just a little mana. Uh, red or blue mana specifically. Thank you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> no mana, Chen, going into the final room. Ah, at least it's not a level 500, right? All right. This is what happens when you get cocky. I've got this in the bag. No problem, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll take the green, even though we don't need it. I was trying to make sure that that skull hit didn't happen, but I wasn't paying enough attention. Meh. I say meh. You're killing my peeps. Seriously. All right. Um, we've got to make sure Lady Morana does not cast if we can here. Yes, I left that match four on red, which was really silly of me. Really bad idea. Uh, yeah, if Lady Morana gets that... Oh, let's reduce some of her chance to get the insta-kill. That's cool. She went for the one that had the least amount of longevity, which is fine. Okay, no, no, thank you for not taking the skulls. I just need, I just need one more match. One more match. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, we'll do that. And cast. Ha! We won with one Tesla left. Yeah, if this had been level 500, I would have been toast, but... <laughs> Don't get too full of yourself. This is what can happen. <laughs> so our final chest is level 8, and our winnings, our final room treasure multiplier is 5.45, and our winnings are... 98 chaos shards, 436 glory. That is a ton. I've never seen that much glory before. 43,600 gold and Crypt Keeper's Renown. Was it worth the extra sigil and the 10,000 gold? Maybe. It's totally personal preference. Uh, but as for me, I'm just going to plunk another one there and get ready for my live stream. Anyway, folks, have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.